This is The Healthy Healer, where true voice is your medicine. This is where we help doctors and other healers navigate through the challenging times by learning from the best minds in the healing industry. Laugh, cry, and be surprised. It's entertainment, education, and inspiration so you can continue to be the unique and amazing healer you were destined to be. Welcome to humanity. Welcome to The Healthy Healer with Dr. Fred. Hello, everyone. It's Dr. Fred, and welcome to the short that follows uh, Clayton Thomas earlier this week. So Clayton and I had an amazing conversation talking about the possibility of having not only a long life, but a long and vibrant life, a vital life for which we feel strong, healthy, and present, and actually psychologically available and mentally available, spiritually available, and growing into a beautiful life as we grow older. And one of the questions I had for myself at that time was, if I was given the opportunity in our present world to live 120 years, is that as exciting as it should be? Am I interested in living another, in this case, 55 years? And that's an important question because we look at the world and we look at the circumstances going on in the world and do I feel strong enough or brave enough or interested enough in moving forward in a world that looks like this world does with the future pending the way it's pending? Do I have faith that the world can be a wonderful space to live in and that even living a vital life is a good idea in the face of the challenges that are coming down the pike? The challenges in uh, human nature, the challenges in the economy, the challenges in communication, the challenges in um, environmental issues and the way that we're dealing with each other. Is this a safe and interesting possibility to live strong and hard and real into a life that looks as often scary and um, uninviting as sometimes this life can look? I know the right answer is that I should be looking for life. I should be looking to stay alive a long time and especially if given the formula for how to live a healthy life, should be eager to take that on, swipe it up and actually live a healthier life. I think the real point here is I'm going to live as long as I live, and that's how long you're going to live, as long as you live. And in the meantime, it probably doesn't hurt to live as healthy as possible, to live as forward-minded and as contributing as possible, to live a vital life, one where I can be um, happy, where I can be satisfied, where I can be strong, where I can be powerful, where I can at least have freedom inside of my own mind about what's happening and to create a space for other people to have experiences that are similar to that is very compelling. So as a healer, the object might be to heal the entire world, but what's here right now is sometimes overwhelming concerns that the world is beyond the state of healing and that it's maybe it's about to get even more challenging and more difficult and um, really even with Clayton this week, we talked about the fact that it's going to get even more horrendous over the next couple of years. And we're looking at a lot of different challenges in the world of um, war, in the world of racism, in the world of sex trafficking, in the world of environmental issues, in the world of um, lockdowns or challenges to our freedom and challenges to our freedom of speech. Is this a world that I'm eager to live into? It's hard to say if I have to be honest, and I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer about it, but it is hard to say. It's hard. I talk to my daughter and other people in their 30s fairly frequently, and many of them are making decisions not to bring children into the world because the world is such a mess. <clears throat> and the case can be made that's actually a smart decision. Having just blind faith that everything's going to be okay is difficult to manufacture. And so that's one of the things I'm here to discuss today with you is if you were given the opportunity to live 120 vibrant years, like actually whatever age you are, you're going to live until 120 and you knew it. Would you take that on with enthusiasm? Would you be afraid about it? Or maybe you would be strong enough or be a stalwart enough or put your stake in the ground and say, no, I don't want to live to 120. I'd like to live just whatever my normal number of years is. And this is an important question. Again, it, the right answer, of course, is to live as many years as you can, as healthy as possible. But there is another answer out here that needs to be entertained, and that is, is it even worth it to shoot for 120? 
But ultimately, now that the jury is out, I'd say that it is worth it. But there is um, some reservations. What is your thoughts on it? Share with bottom below. Share in the comments below, and feel free to uh, like and share this question with others. And I look forward to hearing your answer. And thank you very much for being a listener of the Healthy Eater Podcast. Bye.